Whether you're training by yourself, practicing with your team, or you have a big match, it's so important that you take care of your body. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to warm up for soccer. Now, physically, I'll start with some joint rotations. So I might just start neck and work my way down to my ankles. So focusing on warming up the joints just as much as the muscles. Now, if you're watching this video and, and warm up is important to you, you're already ahead of everyone else because so many players neglect their warm up. And when you're young, it's totally understandable. You want to get on the pitch and you want to just start blasting balls as hard as you can. But that's very dangerous. It can cause injury. And if you don't warm up properly, you're not going to perform as well. Your muscles, your body, your mind is not even going to be ready to perform. So from now on, if you haven't in the past, I really want you to take your warm up seriously. So I'll do these joint rotations, go into the knees. They look a little bit ridiculous, of course, but I'm taking care of my body. If you want to play longer, you want to have a healthier career, you want to play better, you want to increase your mobility, you want to be a better athlete. Take care or take pride in your warm up. And it's going to make a big difference immediately, but also in the long run. You're going to play way longer than everyone else. So after those joint rotations, I'd go into those dynamics that you probably do with your team all the time. Some heels. Even when I'm by myself, no one out here, I'm still doing a proper warm up. Knees, twists. Something like that, get the groins. And whether you're doing your warm up by yourself or with your team, do it with a purpose. The purpose is obviously to warm up your muscles. But the purpose can be to increase your mobility, to increase your flexibility. You'll be in a team practice and your coach will ask you to do the warm up and all the players are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just half, half asking it. Take it seriously, do it with intention. If I'm doing a stretch, yes, I'm warming up the muscle, but every time I'm trying to go a little bit higher, a little bit deeper. I'm trying to improve my mobility a little bit more. Okay, so don't just do it for the sake of doing it. Do it to get better. Good, I love doing these kicks, all different directions. Good, and you can see it's not, it's not lazy. There's a bit of rhythm to it, a bit of bounce, a bit of intensity. Good, kicks in all directions. After that, mainly do those stretches. I'd usually go into some more um, dynamic, like pulling dynamic stretches, something like this. Warm up a few. And then I would go a little bit deeper. And again, I can do a stretch like this. Or I can do it like this. Okay, really focus on making the most. If you're gonna do it, do it the best that you can. So that's good for the quads. Here for my hip, sit down in this. A little bit of balance at the same time. When you're doing this, if you're ever fighting for balance, so many people, as soon as we start to pull out of balance, we just give up. Don't give up. Whatever you have to do, fight, fight for your balance. Use it as an opportunity to improve, as I said all parts of your athleticism. Good, so I might do a few of these. I like to come out to the side here. Take care of your body. You take care of your body, your body's gonna take care of you. You treat your body poorly, it's gonna give up on you. Especially as you get older. Good. And again, focus on my full body, warming up all the major muscle groups. Good, do a few of those. It's so sad. When you're a child, you should be your most flexible, your most mobile. And as a baby, you are. But I see these kids these days making myself sound so old. 10 year old kid, 12 year old kid, can't even touch his ho toes. Why? He's probably been sitting in a couch, in a chair all day. Okay, so 
really analyze yourself. If you're a teenager and you can't even touch your toes, what are you gonna look like when you're 50 years old? Okay, so focus on mobility. And as I said, if you're doing this, try to increase the flexibility a little bit more each time. So I might do some wide. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. Good, a few bends. Quality of stretches is body control. This is fitness. This is gonna make you stronger. It's gonna increase your balance, increase your mobility. It's not just getting warmed up. It can be if you treat it like that, or it can be a complete waste of time. Or your warm up can make you a better athlete, a better player every single time you do it. And that's how I want you to look at it from now on. Good, after that, I would do some leg swings. Maybe you do a partner in leg swing if you're by yourself. You can do it with post, or you can challenge yourself. You can do a, a balance, as long as you're getting that range of motion. But I love this exercise, complete, because it's warming up the front and the back of the leg, entire leg, lower back. So I do those, I might do some cross body. Good, now I'm feeling pretty warm, I'm feeling pretty loose. At this point, my warm up's not done. I would start to get into some more actual running, actual movement. So. I'm gonna stay in front of you, I'm not gonna run away, but I would do a couple lengths of the field, just casual, just getting running, getting moving a little more, opening up the stride a little bit. Might do these shuffles. A low shuffle. Good, karaoke. At this point, after I've done that a bit, I've moved around. Now I feel pretty good. Now I might get on the ball, okay? And if I'm by myself, I'll probably just start with some juggling, get some basic touches. So I've warmed up my body, or I've warmed up physically. Now let's warm up technically, get a few touches. Good, all different types of touches. After a bit of juggling, maybe I'll start moving on the ground. And to be honest, we do all these drills, but when I'm by myself, I'm not laying down cones. I'm just taking the ball and doing what I want with it. Having fun, getting touches. After that, then I might go into a little bit of shooting. Get all the technical skills warmed up, just a few things. And at that point, I would start my session. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy.